hospitals have been used to cuts over the years, but with all five council-run nurseries threatened with closure, this is the latest example of the impact these cuts have yep. on vulnerable people. Over 300 children could lose their places at these nurseries and over 100 jobs could be lost. I spoke to Chris Brophy, father of Kayla, who suffers from cerebral palsy. She's received amazing care from Winton Day Nursery, one of those facing closure. In 2015, she um, was, was the only child with such complex needs. Um, Kayla's got probable cerebral palsy. She's got low muscle tone, which means she's completely um, reliant upon an adult to, to hold her, or she's in a standing frame or, or a wheelchair, so she cannot stand up or sit up herself at all. Um, you know, the staff were, um, were prepared to kind of welcome a child of Kayla's complex needs, um, d despite not, never really having that kind of experience before now of, of handling a child like that. So they, they went beyond what I expected them to do. I think the, the council need to think beyond the, the purse and start thinking about the damage it's going to have to to those that are losing the jobs, to the children and to the families and the, and the, the wider community. A petition against these closures has now received over 3,000 signatures. The council will hold a consultation on this matter until the end of May, during which time nurseries will run as normal. However, until that time, families will face a parental purgatory impacting on children, staff and the local community.